Hello there, I'm your anchor, Min Hua, and November is hitting us like a truck barreling down the 405 delivering your Christmas presents. Yes folks, the holidays are just around the corner, so hang in there. In this week's episode, sports correspondent Maddie Whalen has your weekly sports coverage. Stay tuned for updates on the up upcoming games. Also up next, more news update on the Sigma Pi fraternity sexual assault case and a replacement for Notopia is currently in the works. Our news anchor Hannah Fort Monroe has your weekly stories. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. How's it going, gauchos? Have you ever thought about how Frank Ocean and hot dog water are the same phrase? Me neither, but it hit me like a truck barreling down the 405 delivering your Christmas presents. Let's take a look at this week's news. As reported by the Daily Nexus, on Halloween, 15 student orgs led by UC Santa Barbara's intersectional feminists stood in solidarity at the Arbor in support of sexual assault survivors. These students are highlighting the university's absolute lack of action or punishment in light of the recent events at the Sigma Pi fraternity. The UCSB intersectional feminists took to Instagram to explain the purpose of the event before the big day, stating, quote, this is not a protest. We are not yelling out anything or being aggressive. This is a demonstration to support and stand with survivors." Unquote. I got to stop by the event on my way to work, and I got to see how many people had come out to show their support, smiling and holding beautiful handmade signs and encouraging passers-by to support the cause and sign a Google form that asked, quote, what demands would you like to see be enacted on campus and in Isla Vista?" Unquote. If you missed the event or want to see some of the signs people made, the Daily Nexus has a great photo gallery up on their website. Also reported by the Nexus, on October 29th, there was a town hall held by Lucidity LLC, discussing the possibility of having an alternative music festival during Deltopia to help cut down on some of the foot traffic and chaos on Del Playa. Students showed concern that this festival would replace Deltopia, but the members of Lucidity's board of directors clarified that they'd hoped this event would create a safer, more positive environment and break up the Deltopia crowd. However, Isla Vistians on both sides of the issue have problems with their proposal. People that like Deltopia are heartbroken to see a long-held Ivy tradition go, and community members that hate Deltopia want it to get shut down altogether and don't see this as a real solution. Overwhelmingly, students that went to the town hall showed pushback against this event. If you want to check out the story, you can read the full article on the Daily Nexus website. That's all I got for this week's news. Now let's go to Maddie with sports. What's up, Gauchos? I'm Maddie, back again with your favorite weekly sports update. Let's recap. Women's soccer had an exciting week last week. On Friday, they took down UC Riverside in a 3-2 win. And when they returned to the field on Sunday, it was a battle against UC Irvine. It ended in a 2-2 tie after double overtime. It was definitely a game you didn't want to miss. The men's soccer team did their part to keep up. On Saturday, they beat the Stangs in a 2-0 win. Rival games are the sweetest victories. Men's water polo swam laps around UC Irvine on Saturday. They ended their match in a 15-10 win. That's what we like to see, Gauchos. To wrap up the week, women's volleyball contributed to our many wins. Although they lost their game by a hair to the University of Hawaii, they took down Long Beach State at home in a 3-1 win. We should be proud to rep UCSB after a week like that. Let's keep it going. Get on out to this week's games. On Tuesday, catch women's volleyball versus Utah Valley at 12 p.m. in the Thunderdome. The next night, come back to the Thunderdome to see men's basketball face Jackson State at 7 p.m. On Saturday, men's and women's swim will take down UC San Diego in their matchup at 11 a.m. And on Saturday night, wrap up the week at 7 p.m. with a men's soccer game versus UC Irvine or CSU Northridge. Guess you have to come to the game to find out who it's against. We love a good surprise. Don't forget about our teams on the road. Women's soccer, women's basketball, men's water polo, women's volleyball, men's basketball, men's tennis, and women's tennis all have important games away from campus this week. Get a full away game schedule and live coverage at www.ucsbgauchos.com. Wear extra blue and gold for them. Midterms are almost done, so come on out to a sports game to celebrate. Win or lose, we're all proud to be Gauchos. That's all for your weekly sports. Go Gauchos! Thank you, Hannah and Maddie, for that wonderful update. 
Tune in next week for another episode of UCSB TV. As always, don't forget to follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at AS underscore UCSB TV. And as a quick reminder, you can find all of our episodes on the Associate Students YouTube channel, on our UCSB TV Facebook page, and on Gaucho's page. Thanks for tuning in, and stay frosty, Gauchos. I can't. <laughs> I mean, like, contributed it. <laughs> on Friday, they took down UC... Uh, their hair is rubbing against the mic. Dang it. Oh, Jesus. <sighs>